Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. It's not often the Great Pyramid reaches the world's media, but since the discovery of the void by the Scan Pyramids project in 2017, we are now seeing the start of a media storm as experts speculate what could be inside. The latest idea comes from Giulio Magli, Director of the Department of Mathematics and Professor of Archaeoastronomy at the Politecnico di Milano. He says, There is a possible interpretation, which is in good agreement with what we know about the Egyptian funerary practices and religion, as witnessed in the pyramid texts. In these texts, it is said that the pharaoh, before reaching the stars of the north, will have to pass the gates of the sky, and sit on his throne of iron. The Great Pyramid of Egypt is, in my opinion, the greatest architectural achievement in history. Its internal chambers are accessible through narrow tunnels, one of which, before arriving at the king's chamber, widens and rises suddenly, forming the so-called Grand Gallery. The newly discovered void sits above this gallery, but experts say it doesn't have the practical function of relieving weight from it, as the gallery itself is already built with a corbelled technique, for this very reason. But, in my opinion, Magli has made the mistake of assuming the Great Pyramid was the tomb of Khufu, and he has been looking at the throne of Khufu's mother to get an idea of what the pyramid throne may look like. The Queen's throne was found in pieces, and was reconstructed by Harvard University. This is a low chair of cedarwood, covered with sheets of gold. Magli speculates that Khufu's throne could be similar, but coated with thin sheets of iron. But, of course, as the Egyptians had not developed iron during the reign of King Khufu, this iron would have to come from meteorites. This type of iron has a high nickel content, and researchers say that this detail is also cited in the texts. Experts say that the Egyptians used meteorite iron for special objects designed for the pharaohs, and the example they always use is Tutankhamun's dagger. But this couldn't be further from the truth. This dagger was a gift to Amenhotep III from a king in the Middle East, and the other iron objects in the tomb of King Tutankhamun were actually poorly constructed. The new cavities in the Great Pyramid were confirmed at the end of 2017, after the Great Pyramid was scanned with radiography equipment, and its full internal structure was revealed. The void is hidden behind the north face that could form at least one corridor, scientists say. Another cavity was discovered on the pyramid's northeast flank. At present, the two cavities are not believed to be linked. Of course, as the media coverage of this discovery builds towards an exploration, we will no doubt be constantly fed the lie that the pyramid was built as a tomb for Pharaoh Khufu, when of course we know that there is not one piece of credible evidence to say that the Great Pyramid was built by Khufu, or that it was a tomb. It certainly had a far more comprehensive function due to its layout as well as the geometric and mathematical precision in its construction. Most people now believe that the pyramid is far more ancient. That is why I do not believe the idea from Magli of an iron throne hidden within the pyramid. The structure, in my opinion, has nothing to do with funerary practices and I doubt that even the writers of the pyramid text themselves knew what the Great Pyramid's function truly was. It harks back to a forgotten age, but I am hoping that the void helps us see the bigger picture, and so we can finally get a better understanding. There is no point speculating what is inside, as nobody can conduct any real research to give us any real clues. There are no primary sources to draw upon, as there are no true accounts of its construction. But I'm glad that ancient Egypt is once again getting into the mainstream media, as it generates new interest in the subject. But we must ensure that the Great Pyramid is portrayed correctly, not as a tomb built by Khufu, but as a true enigma of the ancient world. 
Thank you very much for watching this Ancient Architects news update. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please check out my other videos, please hit the like button and feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you very much.